Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a very exciting kind of a review and as soon as these came out I was so excited. I rushed down to my nearest Sephora and I grabbed them. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about none other than the Dancom Juicy Matte Makers. Juicy Matte Makers. Juicy Matte Makers. Juicy Matte Shakers been recently launched by Lancome Middle East. I don't know if they've launched the same products in the West or anywhere else in the world, but I know this is like the hottest product here in the Middle East. So if you're still wondering what am I rambling about, I'm talking about these really cute little mini matte liquid lipsticks Lancome has released. And um, I'm wearing one of the colors right now. The color I'm wearing is ready in five which is like your hot red which is like one of my favorite colors to go for um it's very similar to your lady danger from mac which is like my all-time uh, favorite lipstick so sometime last year lancome released or relaunched their juicy lip glosses that they already had in their range but they came out with this new packaging which is actually similar to them let me actually show you what i'm talking about so this is the lip gloss the difference is this one has a silver uh, cap and the matte ones have a black one so that's how you can distinguish in case you own both of them like I do um, and obviously these are completely glossy and they have like an oil base to it and these are completely matte as you can see over here, the uh, the pigment kind of settles down and you can see the oil on top and before you actually use it you have to actually give it a good shake and that's the reason they're called juicy shakers you get what I mean I'm very smart right okay. no I'm not um, anyway so you have to give them a good shake and that kind of mix color and the oil you sort of just twist the top and you apply it with this applicator and to be honest like the first time I saw this applicator I was like oh, what is Lancome all about this how can you actually apply lip gloss let alone matte a matte lipstick with this kind of applicator but oh my god guys I was so wrong you will see when I swatch all four colors um, towards the end of the video that the applicator is amazing I didn't feel it was difficult at all for me to apply the lipstick or I didn't feel like it wasn't giving enough pigmentation I think the application was just amazing that's all to Lancome for coming out with such a genius creative lipstick applicator um, and the packaging is really cute I mean it's really tiny it's very small I mean if you compare it to my hand it's a really like a small packaging and I'm not sure how much product you actually get let me actually look at the 6.2 ml which is like 0 0.20 fluid ounces which I think it's not bad let me actually compare that to a normal liquid lipstick which is actually not at all bad because the Kat Von D liquid lipstick is 6.2, sorry, 6.6 .6 ml or 0.22 um, ounces, so uh, fluid ounces. So I think you do get enough product in this small kind of packaging um, as compared to a, a liquid lipstick. Okay, so to be honest, like I've been trying these lipsticks for the past one week because I've been hearing a lot of negative reviews. Like I posted a picture on my Instagram um, of these lipstick of these lipsticks and you know I basically said in my post that I will be reviewing them and I will be coming up with a video very soon and there were a few girls who actually commented um, on Instagram and Facebook saying that they actually tried these out and they didn't like the way they applied on their lips and they didn't like the durability and the variability of these lipsticks so I was like kind of skeptical I'm like oh my god do they have I actually wasted my money you know, I felt really let down by Lancome um, and I knew I was really quick to actually pass that judgment over like just a few um, comments on my social media but you know I still wanted to do I still wanted to give it a go because I really wanted these products to work because I love Lancome as a brand and you know I love the juicy shakers the lip gloss version I think they're such a beautiful everyday kind of lip gloss and they really give that you know that um, that hydration to your lips and they really make your lip lips look wet and shiny um, the only downside is because I think they do have a lot of oil content in them I don't think they last as long as compared to my other lip glosses like from Buxom or from Marc Jacobs but they're still a very good kind of gloss that you can actually keep it in your back pocket or like your small clutch and you can just put it on the go where um, on days when you don't want to wear so much makeup and I think the same thing goes with these lipsticks because when I tried them I honestly I really like the way they applied and I was a little unsure whether this applic this applicator will actually work work with a matte lipstick and it actually does the difference between the two um, the you know the the lip glosses and the matte lipsticks is you know those when you kind of give them like a light shake that kind of mix the pigment and the um, oil very quickly but these ones because they're matte and a little bit more thicker in consistency you have to give them a really good shake you can't give them a good shake you won't actually get the product into your applicator so that's the only thing um, 
and however going back to the application you'll see it in my demo later on in the video um I need like one application they're the most pigmentation out of these um they don't dry out your lips they actually look very smooth on the lips they don't accentuate any of my lines on my lips which actually is my biggest one of my biggest problems when i apply liquid lipsticks like they do accentuate the lines on my lips and um these ones they don't they kind of blur them out i mean not 100 percent but uh, you know they do blur them out and they do look very smooth um and they look very plump and they're very comfortable lipsticks now coming to the durability and you know how long do they last on your lips i mean the darker colors they stain my lips they don't come off at all and i will insert a clip somewhere here or later in the video where i'm actually trying to remove um i think this lipstick or the other one and i'm trying to you know put the other color on and i'm not able do it and i did use the makeup uh, the waterproof eye makeup remover to do that this one's from sephora and it's oil based and it wasn't working like the pigment was not coming off my lips so um those of you who are actually been those of you who are saying that this doesn't last in your lips i mean i don't know what you guys are talking about because these stains my lips like crazy so color selection i think lancome did a fab job i love all the colors honestly i wanted to buy all of them but i unfortunately i only picked up three and i got one free so if you're if you're in dubai and if you go to your nearest sephora they have a really good offer where you buy three and you get the fourth one free which i think is an amazing offer they did the same with the juicy shakers lip glosses um when they came out last year and they did the same thing this year as well so i don't think there's any downside to these lipsticks to be honest this is my this is my honest review this is my opinion about these lipsticks like i'm going to be continuing to use this for a very long time and you're going to be seeing me use these a lot in tutorials i really want to hear one thing bad about these lipsticks if you really want to hear is that as a makeup artist i won't be able to use these lipsticks on my clients because of the applicator like um i can't use um a brush on these i think i can i can still pick the product from a brush actually i'm wrong I can still pick up but I think I won't be using it for my clients um, because it's going to be a little bit inconvenient I think a, lip, a, a standard liquid lipstick is more easier for me to like you know sort of use on different clients with a brush than something like this so I think like these lipsticks are very personal like only one person can use it but the only bad thing or negative thing that I can talk about um, and that too because I just you know I feel like I kind, I'm kind of pressured into saying something bad about these lips. I mean, why am I even pressured? This is my channel. I can say whatever I want. Anyways, guys, so I want to make this sh this video really short. I don't want to like carry on talking about it. I really think, I really think, I really think that these lipsticks are really worth your money. I think they're beautiful. I love all the colors in it. Um, I think they're gorge and they look really beautiful on your lips. If you're on the fence of buying it, I think go and buy one and let me know if. I'm wrong or right about this review because I really want to hear your feedback. Am I the only one loving these products or the only very few people who are not loving these products and kind of spreading the negative reviews out there because honestly, I think they're wrong. They are very wrong. That's it for the review guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see me swatch these lipsticks and please keep on watching and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button which, which should be somewhere here. I'll be back with another video very soon and uh, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.